I thought, again, another effort that our guys uh, played well, got off to a good start uh, that we needed. You know, didn't have the defense the first quarter, but after that, we just tried to uh, make sure we win. Just win the next three quarters. Uh, how you do it, I don't care, but just win the next three quarters, and uh, your effort would take care of itself. And I thought our guys did a great job. It was a great team effort with these guys. Uh, a unique group. They got, they're showing us and everyone, myself, that the potential is there. Now we just got to keep growing it, keep growing it, and then eventually it's going to be the right thing for us to do. Marcus, there was a there was a possession, I think, in the third or second quarter where you gave the ball up and it swung to three other players and came back to you in the same spot yeah. were wide open. Can you just talk about the ball movement there? Yeah, I remember that play. You know, I found Chuck down there. He kicked it out, swung it. To Dante, Dante swung to Jim, and Jim swung to me for a three. You know that's fun, man. That's fun. The crowd, you know, the crowd reacted, and the crowd loved it. You know, we just got to play like that. You know, every night in, night out. You know, share the ball, and you know, everybody have fun. This is your third straight double double with your parents in the stands. Have you thought about that? <laughs> house? Yeah, I started looking for uh, for condos or, or things for them, but. Uh, I mean, who knows? I mean, you know, it's obviously good for them to come and support, and they're always watching me. I mean, you know, they got the uh, NBA package and things like that, so I'm talking to them every day. So, uh, you know, we'll see what happens. Hopefully, I can I can keep it going even when they're not here, and then, and if I don't, then uh, then they'll, they'll get the first flight in. Coach, at the uh, four and a half minute mark, you decided to keep your young, your young players on the floor mm -hmm. and stick with the team you had on when mm -hmm. it was only a 13 point game. Mm -hmm. Talk about that decision right there. Well, one thing I asked the two big guys, Cousin and uh, JT, I said, what do you want to do here? Um, yeah, I, I was going to make a decision, but I just wanted to let them know that they had a little control. I said, what do you want to do here, guys? Let them play. And I thought that gave the group on the floor confidence because they saw those two guys go to the scores table to check in for them. And when we came to a timeout, um, I asked those two guys, what do you want to do? And when they both came back and said, let them play, coach. I think it helped those guys on the bench, uh, the guys who were playing, uh, to have the confidence that they, they, they know that they were going to still be in the game. And I think that helped right there. These two games are already got some action. Mm -hmm. I mean, you getting a little more comfortable on the floor? Yeah. Um, you know, I'm only going to get more comfortable. Um, you know, guys are out, and, uh, you know, I've been just trying to stay in the gym and stay ready. What's the first What's impressed you most about these last two wins and the way you guys play? I think the biggest thing is, you know, defensive effort has been good, but also we've been sharing the ball really well. Uh, a lot of assists, a lot of deflections, getting out in transition. You know, the way that that's the way we want to play, and uh, hopefully we continue to grow and be more consistent. You know, on a nightly basis, be able to do that. Um, just you know the energy we bring. I mean, you know, I'm not sure how much fast break points, but you know, I think we're a exciting team to watch, and, and we usually get more wins when we're. Uh, have a lot of fast break points. Um, you know, we limit the other team to one shot with rebounds and, uh, you know, put things together.